And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's August 5th still over here. It's still August 5th over here. So, you know, all you East Coasters out there, I know it's midnight over on the East Coast, but I had SummerSlam to watch, and that was, that was nearly four and a half hours at this point, a little over four hours at least. But anyway, today... Today, we had three games to partake in. We had the IFL National Championship and the NAL playoffs, the four NAL playoff teams out of five, of course, you know, with Albany and Fayetteville, you know, kind of dying during the season. But how did those playoffs go in the NAL? Let's start there. You know, um, it was terrible for Orlando. They ended up not having a quarterback at the end of the day prince had to go out there and do something but ultimately that that ended up being nothing because jacksville beat the brakes off of orlando 62 to 18 and then the other game which was a little bit more competitive carolina defeats san antonio again for like the third time in like five weeks 52 36 so the nal championship is going to be carolina at Jacksonville in the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena, the Shark Tank on August the 12th, and I presume that'll be six o'clock Central, seven Eastern, you know, because you know, they like to you know do the seven o'clock, uh, you know, thing. But the most important thing about this is the NAL Championship pregame live stream that I'm going to be doing. I am hoping that everybody in the discords are watching. I'm hoping that everybody is going to have something to say. I'm going to have StreamYard up. I'm going to do this either Friday night or Saturday afternoon. It depends on what my schedule looks like. Because, again, I start substituting again this upcoming weekend. Or rather, this upcoming week, not weekend, this upcoming week on Wednesday. So, the pregame live stream, it'll be Saturday. The, the post game, you know, the final this week at indoor football for the 2023 season will be right after the DNL Championship. It'll be right after. I'll be dual watching. You know, of course, I had, you know, some, I had some cross on today watching the IFL National Championship, which we'll talk about right now as Bay Area defeats Sioux Falls 51-41 to win their first IFL championship with Raja Faber, USC legend, trying to move Bay Area to Sacramento. That's also kind of crazy, but, you know, at the end of the day, San Jose has a championship again in arena indoor football. Isn't that great? Uh, you know, Justin Rankin, Dalton Steed, of course, MVP of that game, spoils Lorenzo Brown Jr.'s and, and Curtis Riggs' final chance at winning a championship in Bay Area went from worst to first. Same old thing from last year with, you know, Nats. You know, they went from worst to first. And, I mean, it was just, it's just a great story in all, in all seriousness, you know. Because, you know, a lot of people did not expect Bay Area to be here. I don't think I expected Bay Area to be here. We certainly didn't expect Sioux Falls to be here. But Bay Area just outplayed the Storm pretty much the entire game. You know, CBS's production was a little bit kind of iffy at times, you know. But it is what it is. And and it's all great. The IFL marches into the off season ready to expand ready to potentially probably add the bismarck bucks back expand get things done and they just quietly move into the off season you know after this same thing well not the same thing see I have, that's that's a different story um so yeah the ifl is done and it's crazy to think that bay area is what the six different champion in the last six years, six, seven years. I know COVID ruined 2020, but last seven years we've had six different champions, which is crazy. And then the other stuff to nosh on, as you see it, you you you, you, you see it, you know, 
the AFL got tricked by um, a good friend of ours, the Albany defense kid, and his St. Louis Rampage page. And while Hutton tries to save face on it by releasing a statement and everything like that, it, it doesn't work out for me because, again, the only two teams in this league that are legitimate right now are West Texas and Orlando. Can't say Philadelphia yet because it's kind of up in the air. Can't say Minnesota yet because there's been nothing about it. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, St. Louis, even though they have Family Arena, you know, they got tricked by, you know, everybody got tricked by this page, which is hilarious. Like, again, the California Grizzlies, um, Tim Carvajal, he used an alias of Tim Robinson and, you know, just did all sorts of silly type of things to, you know, say that this California Grizzlies team is legit. He owns an outdoor semi-pro team, but again, it, it just it's just unraveling even faster and faster. You know, cool for the USA Football Partnership. Yeah, the AFL had it in the past, but it's USA Football. I do not care about USA Football. That's that's not relevant to me at all. Um, the CIF, with the five teams left, they have announced Mike McCoy as the commish. He's worked in the arena indoor scene for quite some time, along with some other teams, You know, most notably in Wichita. And Sioux City and Omaha, speaking of the defectors from the CIF, they'll announce new leagues on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively, if I'm not mistaken. And the AIF, well, Columbus is going there for 2024. Um, Darren Clark Jr., he's going to be the GM and head coach for Cedar Rapids. What Dukon's interview with the Columbus guys Revealed is that the schedule will be released in October and that the league will have a 10-game season in 2024. The AIF is looking to add more. We'll see who they add in the coming weeks, you know, and everything like that. So, yeah, IFL championship done. Still wish it was called the United Bowl. Still wish I had, could see the Eagle logo, but it's fine. You know, it's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still... I'll try and cope with that. But yeah, the NAL championship is it. It's the final game of the 2023 season. Yeah, I know there's other stuff out there like the UIF, but again, that's a fall league, and I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, and you know everybody else is moving and trying to figure out what's going on. The AWFC trying to figure out what's going on. The AIFA, of course, is still kicking. The GLA is still kicking. The EIF is practically dead peach states lurking around a lot of teams are probably independent now lurking around you know trying to find a place to go and trying to find a place to do some things but we continue to march so again the nal championship live stream uh, the pregame live stream anyway which will be a basically encompassing you know the season that you are going to have a little I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating that we have a lot of guests on for this, I'm anticipating we have a lot of people on, players, coaches, uh, owners, commissioners. I do not, I do not care. You get your connections in, you know. You come, you come on, and bring bring yourselves on to talk about the 2023 season across everything. You know, the NAL championship is just the 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 final the final. What would you, what would you say? Like the final cherry on top yeah the cherry on top of this 2023 season which has been one of the craziest seasons i think i've seen in recent memory until next saturday night and until either friday night or saturday afternoon i'll see you all then take care and have a good one and yeah that'll do it good night everybody